Duty Bound is a returning auto rifle to Destiny 2, and it is an exclusive Nightfall reward this season. Originally a weapon from Destiny 2 Year 1, it makes its return in the Witch Queen expansion with an updated perk pool. Well, today I'm going to have a closer look at Duty Bound, the stats, the perks, plus the god rolls to chase for PvE and PvP, and have a look at how to get Duty Bound in Destiny 2. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And roughly 98% of viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed. So subscribe today and never miss an update. Well, Duty Bound is a legendary kinetic auto rifle and it has an adaptive frame. I mean, it's got a well-rounded grip, it's reliable and it's sturdy. We're looking at the stats, we've got 21 for impact, 42 for range. 45 for stability, 67 for handling, 54 for reload speed, it's a 600 rounds per minute auto rifle with 41 in the magazine. Well, Duty Bound is a decent auto rifle, especially in PvE, so it's got an array of damage focused perks making it a decent choice to take out a bunch of smaller enemies in Nightfalls, Raids and also Lost Sectors too. So Duty Bound does feel like a PvE weapon although it can roll with dynamic sway reduction, which is probably the best perk for PvP that you can get with an auto rifle. We're well, talking about perks, next up let's have a look at the duty bound god roll guide. So for PvE, corkscrew rifling, tactical mag, triple tap and frenzy would be a decent roll. So for corkscrew rifling, it slightly increases the range and stability and slightly increases the handling speed. Then you've got tactical mag, so slightly increases stability increases reload speed and slightly increases magazine size. With triple tap you've got rapidly landing precision hits will return one round to the magazine. Then you've got frenzy so being in combat for an extended period of time increases damage handling and reload for the weapon until you're out of combat. For PvP on the other hand corkscrew rifling accurized rounds triple tap and dynamic sway reduction would be the role to look out for. So we've been over corkscrew rifling and then you've got accurized rounds Increases the range, triple tap, you rapidly land precision hits and returns one round to the magazine. And then finally, dynamic sway reduction improves the accuracy and stability while continuously holding down the trigger. And that is a really, really good perk, especially on the 600 RPM auto rifles. Also this season, we've got a couple of origin traits for nightfall weapons. And you can select which one works for you. So you've got stunning recovery, stunning a champion partially refills your magazine triggers health regeneration and improves recovery for a short duration. And you've also got Vanguard's Vindication. The final blows of the weapons grant a small amount of health. So both of these perks look pretty useful, so choose the one for you and go out there in PvE content. Well next up, let's have a look at how to get duty bound in Destiny 2. Well to get duty bound you do have to run Nightfalls in the Witch Queen DLC and it is an exclusive Nightfall weapon and they are on rotation each week in Nightfall Strikes. So weapons have a higher percentage chance of dropping the more difficult the Nightfall so I would be aiming for Legend version of the Nightfalls as a minimum and then of course you've got Master and later on we've got Grandmaster Nightfalls. But talking about that, later on in the season when Grandmaster Nightfalls are released they are going to release an adept version of Duty Bound and that is going to be really really good so looking forward to that one. So originally in Destiny 2 Duty Bound was a random drop from the strike Savathun's Song, although that was based on Titan, which has since been put into the Destiny content vault. So it's a shame really, that strike, really really good, I must have run it about a hundred times on Titan, and it would have been thematically really good for the Witch Queen DLC, but for the moment it lives in the Destiny content vault. Well, let me know in the comments what you think of the Duty Bound and what do you think of its return to Destiny 2, and especially I'd love to hear what you think about a returning weapon, not from Destiny 1, but a returning weapon from Destiny 2. Let me know what you think down there in the comments. Well, that is it for this guide for how to get the duty bound in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. Or check me out on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, I found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Well, thanks again. I'll see you soon.